Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And since my last um, video, another uh, illuminary has fallen. Another principality has fallen. Yes, General Colin Powell, also Secretary General Colin Powell has passed on. And if you remember my video a couple months ago talking about his buddy, um, Donald Rumsfeld, these two along with George Bush, Dick Cheney, Condoleezza Rice, and many others uh, pushed us into war, uh, an unnecessary war into Iraq. And this is something that Colin Powell had been groomed to do for a long time. See, when I was growing up, my, my mom, them used to sit around talking about uh, different things. And I used to, you know, listen in as much as I can because most of the time back then, they tell you stay out of grown folks stuff but sometimes I would hear them talk about uh, women who gave birth to children that were born with a what they call the veil over their face meaning that they didn't have an actual veil over their face but when you I guess it was a look that you could see in their face that knew that this child was going to be something special, either something special for good or something special for evil, where apparently Colin Powell had that. And also, you know, he was a, his family were immigrants from Jamaica. He wasn't, he wasn't from America. So, you know, he, and I'm not saying that, you know, his upbringing you know, he didn't have some hard hardships that he dealt with growing up in, in New York as a second generation Jamaican. But, you know, he, he caught the eye of someone along the way. Maybe it was when he was in, you know, ROTC. And they knew that they had someone that they could mold because the thing is you can have the great acronym you can have the great ability to speak lead troops but it's their system so even if you got these abilities in order for you to be able to play in a system you got to play by their rules no matter how talented you were so once he got tuned in to their system it was off to the races. He uh, excelled in leadership, and he he, he uh, proved himself in Vietnam. He did two tours. One tour as a battalion commander. Uh, he was uh, in his uh, helicopter because they would have to command the troops from a. a, a a Huey because of the canopy so they could see the whole terrain they could tell the troops how to maneuver and I guess his helicopter was you know obviously flying at treetop level and the enemy reached out and shot down his, his aircraft crashed in the jungle and uh, upon impact uh, Colin Powell pulled both uh, I think he pulled the whole crew out to safety and it was 
all caught it was I guess it was another helicopter that was in their formation it caught all of this on on film and so his his uh his star just started going up right there and he was groomed into different programs and uh then uh, after Vietnam you know they just start putting him in these pre-stages fellowships and stuff that you know only select officers that they know is going to rise fast in the ranks they put him into these and then he was uh selected uh during the first i want to say the first bush administration to head the national security council the N nsc which was a as as a i don't know if he was a three star or four star i can't remember right now i think he might have been a four star uh <clears throat> no he might have been three star let me take that back he was a three star because in order to be that yeah it's usually a, a three star and so because by that by that time he was he was right rising fast and so uh he you know got in the right groups um uh, when i was in the army at one time he was the i want to say the Force Com commander, which I was part of Force Com. He was the four star general when he made his four star. I think he, he was our four, four, Force Com commander, Forces Command, which commanded all the military, Army army military installations in, in Conus. He was over those. And then, of course, we know that he went on to become the Joint Chief of Staff. Um, and led us into the first Iraq war and under under Daddy Bush and then I uh, think after that he uh, knew that the next step would have been going into uh, politics or even the presidency you know, because that's that's you know, as Joint Chief of Staff, you know, that's that that that's 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 it. You you right there beside the the uh, defense secretary and giving him that military advice and counsel. And after that, the rumor is after he retired that there were those in the Republican Party, because he was a Republican, that wanted him possibly to run for president. And that once his uh, wife heard about that, that she had a nervous breakdown. That's the 411. And I believe that. Subsequently, he did not run for president. And he, for, you know, some a little time, he bounced around in the private sector. He was, you know, a, a fellow going around speaking and everything, you know. Uh, uh, here in North Carolina, he had um, a foundation in High Point. I think it was called the Little Red Wagon or something. It was some kind of foundation. I don't know what it was, but he, he used to come in and out of North Carolina a lot. Um, you know, he sat on the board of trustees of... Uh, a high point university and waiting his time until the second bush came in the office and asked him to come out of retirement and serve the country as attorney uh, not attorney general as uh, 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 secretary uh, secretary of state um, and um, you know, go around representing American interests instead of the president all around the world because of the respect people had for him leading the troops to victory in the first Gulf War and his, you know, ability to be a almost apolitical, you know. And so he took that 
and then this is the time that the payback came for all these years that they let him be in their system that the need for them to get back to the oil fields of Iraq and to destabilize their region that they, they told him this is your final mission if you choose to take this mission which you will choose to take it you will convince the world that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction thereby all the well wishes and good deeds that everyone had for you before will fade into oblivion once the body count starts going up in Iraq and so this is this is the payoff that you have when you play ball in their system even to the lowest level this is why the most high told us and he's making it he's going to make it happen to come out of her come out of this babylonian system my people least she become partakers of her sin and it seemed that he he had an early demise although he was 84 years old and i know he was a two-time vietnam veteran i'm pursued i'm pretty sure he received the best of care and for the most part he looked like he kept himself in in, in good shape he, you know um he wasn't a slacker you know in that, in that sense and so here we we have you know the fact also that he got uh, fully jabbed uh, but you know unlike the other uh, luminaries in uh, excuse me that um, like Biden and Kamala Harris I believe that he probably got the real thing <laughs> I believe that they actually put something in his uh, his his syringe. Where with those two, they probably use saline because the devil is a liar. And when it's time for him to come back for his payback, you know he he is nothing is nothing good. Just like he told you, you're sure. He said, these kingdoms are mine to give. You know, you don't, even though you, you know, you can go, you can go to the stake and, you know, let yourself be sacrificed or you can do it the easy way. And um, just bow down and worship me. Because, you know, Colin Powell had been uh, seen at Bohemian Grove several times so he was right he was right up in there with with the 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 minerva bowing down to minerva's owl and all the other world leaders so he was he he he, he took the he took the fruit but he took it he took it a long time ago he thought he, he had got away like i said when he you know, he retired from the military as Joint Chief of Staff. And they said, nah, we got to call you back. You're not going to get off that easy. No, you're not going to get off that easy. And so the main legacy for me when I look at this is, 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 is the Iraq uh, situation, the destabilization of that, that area. And the fact that, you know, he... You know, he, 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 he did it. He was loyal to a disloyal system, you know? And that's what they seen a long time ago. You remember there was a, a movie, I think it was in the, it could have been in the 90s. I think it might have been in the 90s. It was called The Last Boy Scout. You can almost pin that on um, Colin Powell, The Last Boy Scout. That he he had the Boy Scout like qualities, but I'm pretty sure that over his lifetime, his hands got put into a lot of dirty situations that 
they didn't let come to light, but then when it was time for them to get the payback, they said, okay, now it's time. And at the end also, because even though he, um, you know, was a Republican and all these different things, you know, I, I didn't say that he didn't think, you know, that, um, you know, issues dealing with us were important. I, 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 want, I won't, you know, say that, but I don't think those were at the top of his list, especially in the circle of the people that he was with. And so, you know, he probably, and, and also the fact that he, he was from Jamaica. He, he, he didn't have any ties to the, 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 the problems and stuff that we, we had to deal with as you know a descendants of slaves here in this country so sometimes he probably could have been far removed or eluth to the, the the pains and you know especially looking at it from a military point of view like i used to you can kind of say won't you just pick yourself up by your combat boots and join the military which we now know that the military is also a tool of the new world order and that was spelled out when he cleared the way for our troops to go back to iraq the second time and get that oil so i'll say this another principality because you know it was a, it was a big principality behind him when he when he came down and I just, I, I'm just believing and I'm feeling in myself that it's going to be some more luminaries along with their principalities behind them that's going to fall. I just, I just feel that in my, my, my spirit. I feel that this thing is going to go so, you know, uh, out of what we think is going to, or at least maybe not out of, but how it's going to how the order of it is going to happen is 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 going to take is going to take some of us by surprise. So with that, I would tell you, uh, if you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. I want you to leave a comment. I want you to subscribe, and I want you to be blessed. Shalom.